What a day it is to be alive. This man is a celebrity like right here. Good to see you. Good to see you. What you ready? Do, what have you done on your birthday, man? Uh, I woke up at 2.30 today. Oh my gosh. I went to Marquee last night. Yeah. And, uh, you know, balling. Got the bottle served. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah. It was, it was a rough one today. It was actually a rough one. That's why I'm, uh, you know, got the coconut water to try and, try and hydrate myself pretty quick and then... Have a little run around. Yeah. <laughs> That's I thought you were supposed to celebrate on your birthday. I'm going to celebrate tonight as well. Enough, man. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get one of those hats, by the way? Uh, yeah, I got them coming. You do? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'll, I'll rock that. Like, cool, people man. will be like, what's Rugby Sevens mag? And I'll be like, fucking I got, I got these ones made, and then I got a bunch of black ones. Yeah. Made. They're just oh, all black. I like, I like them. You like the all black? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. We look like civilians. Happy birthday. I know, right? Where's the rugby gear? Happy yeah, 2020. What happened against Mr. Grimm? Uh, so, they actually came out a little bit harder than us, I feel. Um, I don't know. Those guys were definitely, you know, up for it. The crazy thing about Mystic is that, like, we're mates with them. We're good friends with them. Yeah. And, like, like, it doesn't matter, like, you've got to step on the field and go 100%, you know, and I don't feel like we just didn't go 100%. They wanted it more. They took their chances. They didn't play, I, I feel like, they didn't play any sort of skilled sevens. They just ran hard and they wanted to fucking, they wanted yeah, to bury us, you know? <laughs> What's up? CRCs. Yes. How's it feel being at Old Blue? It's great. You know, a lot of good players. I'm learning a lot. Kim. Kim. How, how was it to win? How was it to win CRCs? It was, just, uh, it was awesome. It was good? <laughs> are you, are you still riding the high cool. now? Yes. I really am. Like, wh when does it go away? Because you guys are all seen taking over the interview. This is, uh, this is Dustin Rosen. What is your favorite pizza topping? Hawaiian, uh, some pineapple, ham. Okay, so we're going to have a debate right now. Pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Pineapple belongs, pineapple belongs somewhere else. How is CRCs for you? It was a pretty cool experience. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, it was pretty unique because we were still, we still had classes, so we were also taking finals. So I got there and I had to take a final between matches. You had to take a final between matches? Yeah. How you feeling? How you feeling? Up, man? I'm all right. How you doing? See you, bro. Rocking the jesters out here? Yeah, coming out, yeah. They would be happy. Bringing it across the pond. <laughs> What's up, Luke? How's it going? Hey, buddy. Good. Doing all right? Did you, did you play any sevens yet this summer? No, nah, no. Nah, I was away with the US until I got injured. Right. Your back, sorry, like your knees are right. I'll uh, uh, we'll see how we go. Maybe a fourth fourth tournament. Yeah, we'll see. I trained for the first time on Tuesday, so I had three weeks off after. All right, we are here at the Old Blue practice. Men and women are getting ready for nationals this year, August 12th through the 13th, and we are going to see how hard can an Old Blue practice really be. So tonight is just about basics and a bit of ticker as well, okay? So skills under fatigue, skills under pressure. So we're starting off exactly how we started on Tuesday. So the first drill that Old Blue went through was a pullback drill. As you see, the guys are running up to about the five yard line on the football field here, turning their whole body and then passing to the person that is waiting still there at the try line. Um, Certainly a really good drill as there's going to be plenty of times where you're going to pass the ball in a rugby sevens match and players certainly have the tendency to just wing the ball without turning their full body to where they need to pass and uh, fail to 
put their arm extending towards the player that they're passing it to. So this is a really good drill, uh, as Dom had said as well. This drill is also designed to start to get the blood flowing here and to bring to some fatigue to the boys. Alright, so in this second drill, uh, really just some basic speed passing. You've got six across. Uh, the guys are going to run as fast as they possibly can while catching the ball. Uh, this is basically piggybacking off of the last drill of the pullback drill. So you have the guys getting prepared uh, through the pullback drill to make sure that they're turning their full bodies. Uh, and then they're basically just amping it up, bringing up more speed, and running down the field with it. As you can see, I am out there trying to hang with Old Blue Rugby. Uh, so the camera moved a little bit because it was on the field, which is not supposed to be there. So I apologize about that. But this is the basics of the drill. Again, the fatigue is starting to set in for uh, all the guys out there, including myself, uh, so that preparations for the rest of the practice can really set in as trying to play like coach Dom had said under fatigue skills under fatigue uh, skills under pressure this is all in preparation to that Uh, the boys are basically doing the same exact thing. They're just doing uh, speed passing here, but they are mixing it up a little bit with some switches um, on the outside on the wing. So other than that, it, it's still a basic speed passing drill. But again, this is starting to get the boys fatigued um, so that they can get into the mental preparation for the tournaments that are coming up. Yeah, All right, so into eight minutes to batten out. So you're working for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You're doing four exercises. Okay, you go through one, two, three, four, then back to one. Wow, absolutely brilliant stuff uh, by Coach Waring for Old Blue. The drills that they just ran through are absolutely perfect for in-game play situations. You're going to roll over after a tackle. You're going to have to clear out, and you're going to have to get on your feet as quickly as possible to try to see if you could steal the ball um, or get ready to ruck over your teammate. These things happen in gameplay, and if you can master them and get very good at them and start to hit the muscles in your body that you need to do those type of moves then it's going to benefit you tremendously in the long run when you're in a game and your muscles are all ready to go through those type of movements. Brilliant stuff. So from there, now we're going to take a look at some of the ladies here for Old Blue. Am I? Well, we 30 seconds. We'll get one to point two. Good. Tim, good. Keep your head up. All right, so just like the men, the women are going through some drills right now that will get them prepared for gameplay situations. So they are diving forward like they're going to score a try, 
but then they're releasing the ball behind them uh, with a ruck here now and just getting comfortable in these positions. Pick and goes, ruck over, pick the ball up and go, die for the try, ruck over, pick the ball up. Very fluent type drills that will get your mind ready to go for gameplay situations. Rugby sevens is so high intense that it requires so much more than just physical skill you have to have the mental preparation for these matches as well if you want to exceed oh, how hard is an old blue practice Breakdown over here where there's no, no voice, one mic, one mic, and then the defense yeah, yeah. can't play off. Three on this side, three on this side with a pivot in the middle. Yeah. Play the edge, we set up a live ruck, and we go back with the with the same seven that we're in that entire drill. They were struggling a little bit to try to get one of these drills down, but they took a jog, came back, really gathered themselves and got back together and started to work a lot better as a team. Uh, and you're gonna see that in any type of rugby team, there's gonna be some challenges, you're gonna go through some hardships, you're gonna mess up drills, you're gonna fumble, you're gonna get upset with each other, you're gonna get frustrated with each other, but there's gotta be uh, this release of that to come back together and get it right and do it together so that the chemistry and the unity continues to form and that's definitely something that they definitely do here at Old Blue as you could see in the results that they produce every single year. Alright so the drill that they were having a bit of frustration on uh, I don't really have the name for it, but they basically had three on one side and three on another side with a pivot in the middle. So you see in the beginning of the drill where the guys just start off to the left, uh, playing kind of a short field, just playing actual rugby, pass, pass, go, attack. And then once there's a tackle there, then the pivot player then gets it out to the right side and they continue on and just do it all over again. So three on one side, three on the other side with a pivot in the middle. This kind of prepares the guys uh, on the short field side of the game.